do the video as well, but it doesn't matter. You look for you look <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. You look you look great anyway, man. You look great. Do you know yeah, actually for for audio, it's actually better to be in a small place. They say if you like if you're recording just audio, you should actually just be in your like in your closet at home. They say that's the best place to do it. Yeah, like I could do it in my house, but trust me, it would be chaotic. <laughs> it would be chaos. That's a very, people nice, that's yeah. a very nice way of saying you have children. Two girls oh, and a wife. What so, did you do in a past life to deserve that, my friend? What did you do? I don't get any rest now. So I must have rested a lot in the past life because I don't get any rest now. How old are your girls? Lee is 13. Yeah. And Emmy Lou is eight. You're 13. Sure. So she's now realizing that she's got a voice. So the talking yeah. back starts now. Where she's at that stage where, you know, just don't don't bother me. Don't just leave me alone. I want my own space. Yeah. You're just an inconvenience. You know. So yeah. But you gotta you actually the but, problem the problem now is you gotta risk you you could like if you if you pursue her, you risk being like it's kind of like that that you know that relationship where the girl doesn't want you, but you keep going after her, and then it pushes her away even more. So now you've got to be like that. Ah, oh, standoff, cool dad. I'm like, no, it's so fine. I'm not interested. But actually, you do still care about yeah. it because you can't help it. She's your daughter. I, I, I always play the cool dad. Oh, okay. I must, well, that's fine. my. I, you know, I'm I'm the cool cool dad. Uh, I'm not the. You know, um, the the mom is more. You know, they're most scared of the mom because she speaks once. Whereas with me, it's just, uh, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, but it's a nice, it's an interesting dynamic in the house because, you know, when you're the only guy, yeah. you know, you can be outvoted sometimes. Yes, for sure. You know, for sure. By like, like a group vote. Yeah, 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 for sure. Find yourself doing girl things because... Purely because you were outvoted by girls. Oh, you were never... No. Like watching movies, for instance. You know? Yeah. We vote. We vote. We vote. vote. But the thing is, but, it's, like, it's a conspiracy because you're always going to lose. It's like, it's like they are like Putin and you're like anyone who runs against him. You know what I mean? In Russia, he's always going to win. You know what I mean? It's, exactly. Like, like they're the Zonu yeah. they're the Zonu PF. But, and then the freaking your your proper Morgan, but you um your Morgan Shangri, you know you're never gonna beat the Zanu PF. Exactly, but we still participate in the vote because it's what the public wants. You know, we do it for the public, just to give them that sense of they did something. Yeah. You know you're gonna lose. Yeah, you give them hope. You, do it. You, you have hope, but you sign your ballot. You're there at the ballots every every election day. Still, like you know, maybe tonight yeah. we're gonna watch Top Gun. Maybe just maybe tonight we're gonna no, watch something. This is this thing though like yeah. i have to watch all the movies yeah. like with them yeah over and over if they watch twilight again Oof. i've got to sit and watch twilight again Jeez. when i want to watch a movie andrew mm. nobody cares about what nobody knows what i because when i put a movie on everyone just goes to the other tv <laughs> in the room and then they carry on watching there so yeah it's tough, it's tough being the guy but i enjoy being the guy you know yeah, yeah, for sure. because I'm the only, I'm the only alpha male here. No, no one's, no that's other. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool. Emilu. You see, I'm outside in the, and they are, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, welcome to my life. No, bro, I love it. I love it. Uh, that's why you do your, that's why you do your, your Instagram live shows at night. When they, hopefully when they're in bed or in their room. Yeah. They, they around, but still I try. Nah, dude. You know? So, um, yeah. How's it been with the kids in lockdown and having them uh, around constantly? Or are you going to work and still? Uh, the thing is, okay, you didn't have to say anything there because I saw your eyes closed for a second. You're like, ah. Um, I, I've, 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 I work at the airport. Okay. Um, I do have a job. I work at the airport. Okay, okay. Um, so when we went into lockdown, the airport obviously closed. Yeah. So that was fine. Um, well, not fine in... It was just that we no one went to work. Yeah, yeah. So I was at home for sixty days or so. Sure. And we really got to know one another. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so no, when you 
you are the king of you are the king of putting things lightly, bro. You're like you sugarcoat yeah. everything. Yeah, it's, everything's got some sprinkles you know, and some unicorn shit on it. Everything is got like good nice, you know. Yeah, that's we sprinkle unicorns and fairy dust on everything, you know. And and you know, yeah, like yeah. the other day, tooth fairy came. Mm-hmm. Hey, the tooth fairy came. Got you. I don't know, Andrew. I don't know what the tooth fairy gives there where you are, but. Yeah, for sure. Tooth Fairy is definitely maximizing on this. Like, the Tooth Fairy, I used to get like a five rand coin. Yeah. It was a coin. Yeah. A big five. Yeah. Got you. Tooth Fairy is now operating in hundred rand bills. Uh, buffaloes. Like, the Tooth Fairy gives out buffaloes these days. What? That's, uh, uh bro. That, uh, for five rand. Oh. I can't even do that math. I'm like, wait a minute. No. But five rand back then. <laughs> I couldn't buy the same things that a hundred rand could buy now. You know what I mean? It's just like, wait a minute. What telling, is but that five rand, you know, the big five rand. You yeah, know, yeah, the big yeah. One. I remember them, yeah. It's, now, you've got to, like, when the two, if a tooth falls out now, you've got to be on standby because, yo, you oh, might geez. be in it. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're, gonna be, you're just going to leave it. You're going to be leaving uh, your daughter a note underneath saying, look, the tooth very, can she eat one or two? The two things you want to know, it's like, ah, can, ah, can she eat one of you at the end of the month? But, and this is the funny thing is she knows, you know? Yeah. She, she knows, knows but she plays along. Yeah. She knows where it's coming from. Yeah, when, when, I, when I was like a kid. Time, yeah. Last time, yeah. um, one of the people I left the 20 bucks, you know, 20. Two thirty is falling off, two thirty is cheap. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> what can I buy with the 20 bucks, you know? Whereas when we got a 20 then it was a big thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's nice just going through the same motions as a father that, you know, when you were a kid, yeah. you went through like, my teeth fell out and I was like, oh, okay, the yeah. tooth fairy. So, oh, yeah, so but now yeah. you're with the things that you had to do. So it gives you a new perspective because you're like, oh, now yeah. you know what it was like for your dad. But the thing is like, yeah. with, like with my dad, or my mom was a tooth fairy when I was one and she left a note the one time. Yeah, also my my mom also was yeah, my, the tooth fairy. My mom left tooth mama, fairy. I was like, ah, everything. Because I was like, also like, okay, wait, no, you got to prove to me the existence, and I don't believe that there's a tooth fairy. Because I was like, nah, this is bullshit. Bro. What do you mean there's a tiny person who comes and takes my tooth? One, what are they doing with my tooth? Two, that's weird. And three, how can they carry money if they're so small? I don't get it. So then my mom's like, okay, fine. And then she wrote me a note, and then I saw the note, and I came up to her, and I'm like, this is your handwriting, and she's like. And then by that point, she was like, there's no tooth fairy, okay? And Santa Claus isn't real either, so why? And then I'm like, oh, shit. And she's like, yeah. And I, she just looks at me, he's like, oh, you shot yourself in the foot. No, you don't know. You know what I mean? You died. Did you have to kill Santa, like, just like that? Father <laughs> Christmas died. Well, Father after the- Christmas didn't have to do with this, and now he's dead. Well, after that, yeah, exactly. After that, but like, after that, I was like, okay, so... I was like, wait a minute, no, Santa Claus must still be real because there was like a Christmas between, like it was a Christmas after that and then they were still playing along that there was Santa. I think she just forgot that she told me he wasn't real. And then like after that, yeah. in, in January, I was like, I always used to ask my mom questions at the worst possible times when they were fighting. So my mom and dad were fighting in the front of the car, screaming and shouting at each other. And then I was like, mom, mom, is there Santa Claus? Is there? I was about seven or eight. Is there Santa Claus? Is there Santa Claus? And she eventually, because like, her and my dad were screaming at each other. She just turned around, she's like, no. And I was like, uh, that's how I found out. My mom screamed at me because I was just pissing her off. She was like, you are pissing me off so much. I'm going to freaking scream at you that Santa Claus isn't real. I'm going to ruin your childhood right here. It's better than being left on the side of Aunt Decker's Road. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, fine. <laughs> because uh, with, with me, because my my when I grew up, like my mom, she was the everything because I was raised by a single mom. Okay. So she had a younger brother, you know. So Christmas time, when I was younger, bro, I swear to you, the scene that was set, mm. you there was definitely a Father Christmas. Like the scene was oh, like okay, it was okay. unbelievable. Yeah. A little kid, yeah. the mind, because you know when you're a kid. The mind, what you see, is like. So what they would do is, at the we would leave the milk and the biscuits and everything, mm. and make sure that the door is, you know, not locked. But yeah. obviously the door is locked. <laughs> and then 
we'd have this where the footprints with the you know the chalk covering wow. where he came and walked. So you would see the footprints to the tree and back out the door. Wow. So it was like that is definitely awesome. and that is awesome. Ex- like that was what my mom and her brother would do. And like you saying, I remember the day I found out. I was I was like, you can't be serious, guys. What I found you? the shoes. The shoes that they covered with the chalk. You are di- you're a detective, motherfucker. You are a detective. You went, you're, you're like, look, look at the size. No, it's a size seven. Listen, this is the thing, Andrew. I'll never forget how I found it. Yeah. I found the shoes at the back of the house. Yeah. In You know, um, we had a basin where you wash the yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To put in there, obviously, being prepared to wash. Oh, but man. I found in there, like... Not the same day, obviously. Um, maybe like a week or two later. They were obviously covered in chalk. And I was like, no ways. This is fishy. No. So they forgot to wash them. No, they forgot to wash. Your mom and was that, I'll never forget. Did you confront Okay, guys. You something? I'm going to play along. Uh, Fine. Uh, oh, so I'm, you didn't, you didn't confront them? You're just no. like, whatever. And then, so, but the whole time, you're like looking at your parents. You're like, you motherfuckers. What? You're lying. You're so full of shit. And then, oh, you're going to do this whole chalk thing again. Oh, okay. But do you have brothers and sisters? Um, for 13 years of my life, I was an only child. Oh, whoa. Okay. Because I'm thinking if you did have like sisters or a brother who was like one or two years younger than you, you say, okay, listen to your parents. This is what I would have done because I'm a conniving bastard. But I would have been like, I would have found out about them. And I'm like, okay, cool. Now, I know that you're not real. I would have bought them the boots. And I'm like, listen, you give me better presents this year. I want, I want 200 grand from the Tooth Fairy and some Father Christmas. Or I'm showing my little brother these shoes. And then now nah, you get them. That's what I want. I want, to really yes. I want. I want a bicycle. I want cricket pads. I want a rugby ball. I want tickets to the final of the Rugby World Cup 1995. Let's go. And this is the thing. Um, I never... I got whatever I wanted. Okay. Like, I... But that's one thing. As a as a um, as a sing as a as an only kid, I got the best of the best. Sure, you know, sure. so to find out these things was like because the I'll never forget. I got a bike that Christmas, and for me, it was like the most amazing bike because it was like the best bike. Uh, yeah, and sure. you know, and now the next week, I'm like, oh, there's your techies, there's your shoes. Like, wow. So I was like, really. Like, why and you're also thinking why are why is freaking santa claus and you're thinking why is santa claus i thought he wore gum boots but now here he is with these adidas but what's going I on i also out that okay so if because you must remember when when for the christmas he brings you something it's like the best thing so it's like normally something we can't afford that's uh, out of our price that i started like okay okay yeah. So you guys can spin. So <laughs> okay, you guys, guys have got more money. Oh, okay, cool. We're eating poloni, but there we go. What is going on here? But first, look, my mom was a teacher. She still is a teacher. Uh, She's okay. been a teacher for 30 years. Yeah. But yeah, I got the best. And then that's when I was like, okay. So there's actually maybe like a savings, you know, um, for maybe Christmas. So oh, okay. whenever I would write my letter, mm-hmm. you know, and go and yeah. post it in the post box. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, you know? for sure. For sure. Santa Claus, the North Pole. Yes. And yeah, you know? Yeah. Send it. And I'll be like, okay, Santa Claus definitely getting me the top range of whatever it is I want. Nice. It has to be like, I'll never forget like a daisy. You know, you know the daisy guns? I remember those yeah. pit- mm-hmm. I got one of those because I wanted to obviously be like shooting. We lived in like a place where there was like, forest next door to the house okay so there was always like wildlife okay and it was like a daisy gun at the time like daisy gun was like <laughs> it's like i don't know if father christmas is able to pull this one off yeah. this is going to yeah. be like, then they start bargaining for him you know what i mean they're like hey well, no, how do you know what father christmas can and can't afford no, what's going on with you father christmas don't you speak for santa claus <laughs> yeah. please don't don't underestimate the man. Yeah, yeah. He, and then they're like, oh, God, he's got us. He's got us. It is good. Did you get the daisy? Did you get the gun? 
<laughs> just, just get the daisy, whatever. But and after the and once we got the daisy, we just cut that whole crap out about footprints and all yeah. the rest. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, like, I don't care anymore. It, it was like a silent thing. Yeah. Like they knew, I knew that we knew, but we no one spoke about it. And then they were like, like, okay, you know, well. don't bother doing all that crap. Because yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, be like, yeah. oh. <laughs> okay, you must, have, you must have come down. You must have flown through this here. You know, you didn't touch the ground. Yeah, yeah, you have like, Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were like, oh, okay, so they just gave up after that. Like, oh, he's gonna ask for expensive stuff. That's also the funny thing as well. They buy you a daisy, and I think about it these days. You're like, yo, I would not buy my kids daisies because I was just like, but, we used to get the most the thing, reckless fucking sh- you, toys. Like I, I said as well, like. I got a daisy when I must have been 13. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. The, what I did with the gun and how I used it yeah. was it was for purely outdoor, you know, in the bush, yeah, shooting yeah, yeah. bottles, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. making targets, um, standing far. You know, there was never an intent to, you know, it was never that. Not and my, sure. and my, my mom, you don't ever point a gun at a person. Yeah. If I see you pointing the gun, I'll take the gun and we'll throw the gun away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That feel. So you were and more sc- you were more ne- scared of your mom than anything else. You were more scared of your mom your mom than a daisy. Are you crazy, my, my mom. No way. <laughs> She's a teacher. No. My mom's also a teacher, bro. I know the story. My mom's also a teacher. I was in my mom's class. Were you in your mom's class? Oh. Oh no, bro! But I feel you. Like as you said that, like the like the anxiety just coursed through my veins, bro. You know, we were in school when it was standards, yeah, yeah. not grades. Mm, no. Standard three. Mm. I was in my mom's class. So 10, 10 11. Some, someone thought it was a good idea, and yeah, my mom gave me a hiding the one day, and I was so I was I was not impressed. Well, in the class. I, yeah, she gave me a hiding to prove to the class that she'll give her own kid a hiding. So what's so going to happen to you? Met you, you know? Yeah. And I felt like I was the, I was the martyr. I was the, I didn't ask for a hiding. I, it was something silly. And the class had been pissing her off. Yeah. And she used me to, and I know, I felt like it was, if I can give my own kid a hiding, yeah. just think what I'll do to you. She was proving And I point. was like, just proving yes. a point. You know, you know what would be, you know be hilarious if she was like, if she was giving her hiding and she's like, how can you let your mother let you come to school without your books? And you're like, what? The, the, what do you mean? What? What do you mean? I love it when they would blame the parents. Then it's like, nah, this was my fault. And then your mom's like blaming her. Yes, that's funny. She's like, ah, oh. I did. I got lucky, you know, because my mom, my mom was a. When, when I was bored, my, my dad was like, no, nah, you're going to be a stay-at-home mom and whatever. So she was a stay-at-home mom for a long time. And then when we, yeah. moved, we moved to South Africa, then like my dad was like, ah, oh, wait a minute. All these other women are working. Well, let's make some more money here. Come, you must go back to teaching. But that was like, yeah. I, that was, that was like when I was, I, I left my primary school at, um, when was it? That was in, nine, my last year was 97. So, but my mom came and did, was doing, she did substituting. She was a substitute teacher at my school when I was in standard five. And then when I went to standard six, went to high school, she became a full-time teacher there. So I got lucky. So I didn't, she wasn't my... Yeah. So I, was yeah, but I think being, being raised by a teacher mm-hmm. um, is a different kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't know, like I used to tell mom, as I got older, I used to tell my mom, Mom, we're not in the class now. Like, uh, we're not in the classroom. Yeah. You know, that discipline, this, that discipline doesn't switch off when we're at home. It's yes, the, the same, like, come home, homework, uh, check the books, mark my work, check the spelling. You know what I mean? I was like, no one else does this. Yeah, for sure. And that was, my mom was like, that's why no one else gets the marks that you get. Oh, you know? wow. so, so that helped you then? So, yeah, it helped me. And then... <laughs> but you like, but you uh, so you know, when you get to... You don't sound happy about when it. You when you to... Yeah, for sure. But you also don't sound happy about it because like, I was like... Uh, oh, it's like when I was... 
younger, it's like I'm also when I was younger, like it was like I used to ride my bike to school. You know what I mean? I'd like no one used to drop me off, yeah. you know, like and then I'd like yeah. I'd literally but now I think about it, I'm like, this is like the worst thing ever. I'd ride to school in the morning, I'd go do do like five hours of school, come home, and then like do my homework as quickly as I could if I and then I'd go out and ride my bike again. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. It's like I don't just go to go I mean I, I, you know, it's like it's like just going for a drive for no reason. It's just like, ah, I'm going to get stuck in traffic. Let me go get stuck in traffic because for fun. It was yeah. like, I was like, no, yeah. it doesn't make any sense to me. But like I was, like, yeah. what you call like a, they call in America, like a latch key kid. So like you get home and then yes. like, during school holidays, I, I was gone from six o'clock in the morning until the street lights came on. Like my mom would never see me. Same. You know what I mean? Same. Yeah. It was so much Same. better. But now. I would get on a bike with friends. We get on our bikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And drive out into the whole pack of us. BMX yeah. bicycles, mountain bikes, yeah. about 10 of us. Yeah. We'd go to the bush and go and make um, ramps yes. and, you know, do yeah. what kids have to. Yeah. And now it's totally different now. It's a totally different dynamic. But the thing um, is, like, now you having, you having like, like, like teenage or a teenager and like, a, like an eight-year-old, like if you let your kids out, it's almost like, like just like in the road or whatever. It's like, ah, that dude, Mario is neglecting the kid, his kid. Almost. Yeah, and the thing is like, with us here where we are, you, you'll hear, as you can probably hear, the kids, our house is like where the kids will come because I prefer my kids by my house. You can okay. come to my house. Yeah, yeah. But my kids not don't go to your house, just I prefer you here at my house got you, so because you're... I've got control of on, you know, and I can see. Yeah. Um, also, because our house is like the, the friendly house of the neighborhood where the kids come in and out, they have, there's toys, there's something to eat, you know oh. what I mean? So, yeah, we all, we live in a nice little area where we all know each other. Oh, so, okay, awesome. I mean, it's not a, a big area where um, my street is actually a little cul-de-sac, uh, so everyone knows. You see. That's nice, dude. But that's 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 what it was like when I was growing up in the UK as well. I lived on a cul-de-sac, and my best friends were people in the cul-de-sac when I was like five and six. You know what yeah. I mean? I was just like, and then it was like, we know. My mom was like, yeah, at the end of the cul-de-sac where the road starts, yeah, you do not leave, yeah, and like look at me like this, like, you do not. <laughs> the leave, same, yeah. Listen, those words that mm. you use. That's what my mother, my mom used to say that. We lived in a road, yeah. like it was a circle, but it was a very big circle. Okay. okay. So she would say, the circle starts here, right? <laughs> yeah. You can walk anywhere, yeah. like in the circle, as long as you don't go past this, po this point, which yeah. meant you can walk around and around and around and around, yeah. but you don't go out circle but if you, know you cross I mean? the street if you and cross the street you are in trouble if you move out yeah that's it yeah exactly. don't even and that's why like growing up at think as kids like i try my kids they listen when when i when i speak but you know like my kids I, my mom always used to say like she can take anything but a rude kid she can't handle a rude kid so like with my kids I'm trying to make sure that they learn to listen and respect, you know, because yeah. it's not easy. Um, these days, kids, little kids, are unfortunately um, not raised properly. Or parenting yeah. is maybe, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. I and I what, say uh, it happens everywhere. But yeah, yeah parenting yeah. is a hands-on thing. It's not an easy thing. You've got a, it's an everyday thing. No, for sure. It's like it's... Yeah, man. I mean, like, cause, like I said, I'm I'm gonna be one soon, you know. So it's like it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, How soon? Sure. Uh, it could be any day now, but um, he's like, it, but he's he's kind of like we scheduled for end of August, but like like we went to the doctor on Monday and he's like, oh, this motherfucker is ready to come soon, bro. So be ready. Ah. Be. Okay, wow. The doctor didn't really say that, but like that's what I heard. Because it's so weird in this whole COVID thing. Like I sit in the parking lot and with on FaceTime in the 4D scans. Oh, number one, first one. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, it's so strange. Are you ready? Oh yeah, we've got like, like, like 
like dude like um like supply wise we've got so much stuff bro. and i'm ready i'm like practical bro. i'm ready i'm, I'm you know what and yeah. let me tell you something yeah. that is that stuff all that stuff great Nothing. yeah but yeah i'm talking about you know what i don't want to be like really mm-hmm. but the the shocker is the hands on and the time and the no sleeping like yeah. no sleeping like really no sleeping yeah yeah it's like like for me as a when when we when our first kid i was like surely we have to sleep at some stage i mean like <laughs> like like really like do we not sleep like like seriously because i mean not. i could not sleep yeah like, yeah 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 it could not I, I remember also like we had supplies and we had everything. We had a room, you know, because we, we knew and we just bought stuff. Mm. And I thought, you know, hey, we've got everything, you know, I've mm. done my, hey, I've done mm. my part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All those 500 napkins, someone needed to put those 500 napkins on, change them. Mm. But um, yeah, that's such a nice thing though. Because that's, it. yeah, yeah it's, it's the most, the the Andrew that you know now, yeah. the Andrew that you're going to know, is it a he, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. The Andrew that you know now and leading up to and before, is going to be a different Andrew from the time the first time that you hold that boy. Yeah. Listen to me nicely. Yeah. When the, when you hold, remember and say Mario was right. Okay. Mario I'll text you. Was I'll right. text you. <laughs> You can. T- I'm. I'm. I'm serious. I always say it. Like mm. it's a. Sw- it, it just changes you. Yeah. Your first kid. I've heard it. Changes. I've heard. You. But I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. I've only like it's weird because I've seen it happen with my friends, and it's just like it changes them, but it changes them in such a good way. And I'm like, oh, I liked you before, but now you are so, like you, you're so much more. The most like unorganized people become super organized. The most <laughs> unloving people become so loving yeah. and caring. I'm like, whoa, this is a. But you know what it is? It's you'll see your instinct mm. as a father yeah. is going to will kick in. Your oh, instinct yeah. will kick in. It's yeah. it's a, I can't like I can't explain it to you because yeah. you will know when you go like wow, wow. Yeah. Are you a heavy sleeper? And if you sleep, are you a light sleeper, heavy sleeper? Um no, I'm a pretty I'm I'm a pretty light sleeper, but I'm like I'm not like it's not like if I wake up I can go back to sleep pretty e- easily. Now, even, you know. remember this: mm. that if, when your boy makes it just a just a little sound, <laughs> you can be sleeping like a meerkat. You're going, you're gonna hear it. Yeah, you're gonna get up. You're going to you'll be alert. You that is your instincts will kick in. Just wow. you're alert. You'll see. Yeah. It's a and. That, you learn a lot about yourself as another because that's a different thing you've never been a dad before no. you know like and when it happens you'll be like wow how did i know that how did yeah. i what and that's the beauty of it because it's like jeez so you say it's, like, like, it's in you it's in you already and it just comes out you've got that instinct yeah. in you i believe because for me i always thought like i never had a dad growing up okay okay, okay. so big fear was like, what do I know about fathering? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was never, I was never fathered. My mom remarried when I was 12, 13. Yeah. Um, and, and, and then that didn't last long. So that guy came and went. Okay. And then I had a sister. And then later on, when I went to varsity, she remarried the guy that she's still married to now. Wow. Which is my... So, you know what I mean? In terms of him coming in, he came in when I was in matric. So, yes. in my matric year, I was about to go to university. So, I'd already grown, not grown were, up, but I'd already gone. You were 90% so become, the man, you know what I mean? You were 90% the man yeah. you were going to be already, yeah. Yes. Hectic. So, becoming a father was like, the scariest thing was like, I don't know anything about wow. this because I've never been fathered. I've been mothered. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And when it did happen, it's just amazing how you just, things that you never knew about yourself, you will see. And yeah. you will be amazed every day because it's like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's like, so hectic. Okay. 
holding the baby. Like, mm. I'm, a, I'm normally like a rough guy. I'm rough around the edges, you okay. know? Like, holding the baby. Mm. You know, I don't want to... It just comes where you know how to hold the baby. Sure. It just comes. When okay. they give him to you, you'll know how to hold him. And you'll see, it's just natural. Yeah. I can't explain it to you. No, you can I message can... me and say, Mario... I know what I can see what you, you were talking I'm pretty, about. I'm pretty sure but, I'm going to message you one of these. I'm going to be like, yep, yeah, you're right. Like, I'd say, like, because I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm like, yeah, hey, okay, get you, Bree. That's when you, when you get that from me, you're going to be like, ah, you're right. Because uh, my, is. But my, my thing is, is like, I'm worried. I'm not like practicalities and things like that, like changing nappies, putting him, because like putting him to sleep. Because the thing is, I think about it, it's just like, there's only a few things that it could be. He needs to be changed, he needs sleep, or he needs food. Yes. That's it. That's, the, that's yeah. all it is. Or attention, whatever it is. That's fine. But I'm worried about like, like, cause the thing is like my childhood was like average to pretty fucked up, but I'm not just like, my biggest worry is like, I don't want to download all of my fucked up shit, all of my, like my messed up stuff onto his hard drive. You don't even like, as I said to you, the instinct comes. Like yeah, I yeah. always worried that I'm going to be the father or be non-existent, yeah, yeah, you know? Sure. I, sometimes I try and be over. But then your natural fathering instinct is to father your kids. Yeah, for sure. It's a different thing when you leave, you know what I mean? That's the uh, fathers yeah. leave and they're gone and they're not in the same house. That's, yeah, that's different. Yeah. When you're in the house and that thing kicks in, mm. um, it is, it's one of those things where you go like, geez, yeah. okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And the more you go into it, the more you go like, well, I can't, this is, I'm actually growing in this thing, you know? Mm. Because... Yeah, sure. It takes a while to realize that I'm this little person, this little person that can't defend themselves, that can't do anything. They're depending on me for survival, yeah. for protection, yeah. for their livelihood. And yeah. that's next level. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you, sure. if you, like, you know, like, um, there must have been a time when your mom, someone did something to you mm -hmm. and you saw your mom react where you were like, jeez. Yeah. Because yeah. you touched my kid. Like, so yeah, 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 you, yeah. Don't, you don't know that, that, yet, that level. Uh, you imagine it. Okay. You know that level, my cubs, you know, yeah, you, yeah, my yeah, cubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah. That is, that's another thing that I say, like, you, I always used to say to my mother, like, why are you, are you, what is, like, yeah, what's wrong with you? What's if you, you crazy? Yeah, if you did something to me, oh, my boy, <laughs> mm. mom, my mom never, like, stood back. She okay. would lay and she would be like, don't you ever touch or look at my kid. Yeah, yeah. So, when I had a kid, I actually got that, you realize that <laughs> this sense of, yeah. protection yeah you felt like, that thing you like you if you take this thing away from me i will kill you yeah i will kill yeah, you that, literally, yeah. i'm prepared to lay i'm prepared to smiling i'll die smiling yeah. but i'm gonna yeah. take this yeah and that's all part yeah. of the instinct thing yeah that's you it because that, that makes that makes so much sense because it's like i've heard it, it's like it all goes down to like the you cannot you like like even my friend my, like my friends who've had kids said you don't understand the level of love that you have you thought you knew what love was but then you meet your child and you're like this is another love and it's like this child could be this child could have like broken your window by mistake one day could have like ripped up your carpet could have drawn on the walls but someone takes that yeah. child to take that thing away from you you're like i'm gonna kill you i will kill you do, do not touch my child they can do anything to you they yes. can through the balls they can headbutt you but you'll be like do not take this thing away from me yes and that's the thing because um your parental instinct yeah. is to protect your kid. Yeah. It's like, if my kids do something wrong, please don't address them. Please come to me. Yeah. Like, don't uh, take sure. children. That's and let me sort you know? Yeah. Um, like, there was an instance where a kid bullied my, the eldest. Yeah, yeah. A boy bullied okay. Lee. Okay, okay. So, <sighs> <laughs> mm, I just yeah, it's just speaking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already just yeah. yeah getting a bit because, to like <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. Mm. And the thing is because Lee is um the quiet kid. She's okay. um 
very creative. She's um, she's she can talk, but she's not an out there, you know. And this boy bullied her, and then he banged her head against the desk. Like, Jesus. Okay. So she had like a like a little knob on her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they were like, she was like looking away and not, you know, because there was a little knob on the head. Yeah. So, so after a while, I was like, what's, 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 what's going, going on, on here? here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mother and the other sister were like, hey, she's like, no, something happened at school. So, okay, so what happened at school? And then she's like, okay, this other boy. And she said, boy, okay. Mm. Boy banged your head on the desk. Okay. Like, oh, oh, okay. okay, yeah. <laughs> now, this is at six or seven o'clock in the evening, right? So yeah. school's closed now. Yeah. We can't sure. go to, there's yeah. nobody there. Yeah. So I'm already. <laughs> you want to go drive yes. there, wait there until six o'clock in the morning until this kid arrives. <laughs> Let's go and wait at the gate now so we don't miss him. You know what I mean? We don't want him to slip in. Let's go now. So let's get there early. You know, I don't want to miss him. Um, I just want to see this kid. I don't, I, I like literally didn't sleep because I couldn't sleep. Mm-hmm. It's like I couldn't sleep. Yeah. This thing, it was on me that I, I'm not interested in doing anything else. I would need to sort this out. I'm, yeah, not, sure. I'm not interested. Yeah. So the next morning, bright and early, we were at the front gates of the school. And I was like, you're just going to point him out, okay? That's all you're going to do. Like I was saying to Lee, you're just going to point him out, okay? Yeah. That's all you're going to do. And yeah. Lee being the kid that she is, she's like, no, no. please, just leave him. And, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, leave it. We're definitely not going to leave it. Yeah. So I missed him that day. I don't know how I missed him. Anyway, the principal was doing his rounds and he was like, oh, um, can I help you? And I said, nah. I said, you know what? I'm here, I'm looking for this kid because this is what happened. Mm. So they called a meeting with the kid's parents and I met the kid eventually under controlled circumstances, luckily. <laughs> for him. For him, <laughs> in the principal's office. But also, it also is another thing where you get to see um, the other side of the coin where you've yeah. got a mother, single mother raising seven kids sure. by herself yeah. in what is essentially a shack yeah. in one of the townships. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That was the flip side of that coin where here's a mother that's be, she's beyond her wit's end because yeah. Yeah. like she said, her eldest kid is in jail. The second eldest is the police are looking for him. Um, then she skips down to the one just before him. He bunks school. You know what I mean? So, but okay, for but number one, she needs to close her legs. Let's be honest. But that's fine. That's an, I'm not one to judge. That's first. That's the yeah. first thing she needs to do. But I understand. But you have. But you also develop some empathy for this poor woman who has who's been lumped yes. with these seven kids. Yes. And then you're like, I get that. That that makes sense. You know what I mean? And then you're like, okay, I'm not going to beat this kid's ass. This kid kid actually needs. And know, that's mob. that's why I said, like at that time, I was like, listen, you guys need to. You need to do something to stop something worse happening in the future. Yeah. Because it starts with um, bullying and knocking a girl's head. Nothing gets done. Further down the line, um, it's tripping a girl or kicking a girl um, in the stomach and nothing gets done. Next time, it's punching a girl in the face and nothing yeah. gets done. Yeah, the next sure. time, it's raping a girl and stabbing her, killing her. Then you want to take action. Yeah. It's too late. Like, yeah. that's the thing. That's why I said, let me just, if I smack him around a bit, then he can go and call his dad and whoever else he wants to, and then we can talk. Mm. But there must be punishment for the, the action. So, yeah, sure. yeah, like since then, um, yeah, it's different now, but I mean, it's, it's yeah. not. My kid won't be that kid that's, sure. you know, mine, I'll be in the paper before my kid ever ends up in the paper. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll, I'll be. But that's so interesting. That's so interesting. Like you're saying that, like when like having a mom who's a teacher, and she's like, she'll like she'll meet these children, and then um, he'll like oh like 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 this boy, you know what I mean? And then she'll 
and then she'll um and then the, like then she'll they'll call the parents in you know to try and sort it out but then like the parents won't pitch they're never there they'll be like no it's fine and whatever oh you must yeah. just sort it out oh no it's not our problem it's your job and then exactly. my, and then my mom's like oh this is why this child is like this. It's got nothing to do with the yeah. school. It starts at home. You yeah. know what I mean? And these parents, yeah. the parents who... It does. Because the thing is, you know, it like... Because she lives in, she lives in, um, in Heidelberg. Uh, and, yeah. they, and it's like there's, a, there's like a very Afrikaans community and there's an English school as well. But then there's also there's a, um, a reform school, which is like a, you know, like a school for delinquents, you know, young thing. And she says the... The, the there's two there's two sets of people where who come into this. It's like from very poor and impoverished people to, who go to these yeah. to come to the the delinquent school, and it's people with very very rich parents who don't care about them and don't give a fuck. Those are the two yeah. people that go to that school, and it's like oh okay, that's yeah. interesting. So it's like it's just it's not the amount of money you have; it's the amount of care that you give your job. Yes, you know? it's two two flip sides of the coin, but the same amount same of out- care. The same outcome, essentially, exactly, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. for sure, dude. That's an interesting one. And it's strange. I've been to Heidelberg. It's strange you say so. Oh, is it? I've been. Yeah. Why? Um, Why would you go there? I only go there to visit my mother. I used to coach hockey oh, at one okay. stage of my Okay. I was a sports coordinator. Oh, I was sports you. coach. Okay. So, someone thought it a good idea to go and try and coach hockey or teach hockey. No, is it? Okay. Okay. It's, very, it's a very farmy neighborhood there, eh? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's very blast. It's it's, bias. Bias. It's not really, there's not really space for a hockey field down there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they, all they do is play rugby, bro. They all come out of their bombs with fucking... They come out their moms with fairly <laughs> and a rugby ball. Like, oh, hey, we went because I went to do our... I was a course facilitator. Mm. So I went to do a hockey coaching course. Oh, I see. Okay. So you were teaching them how to play, to teach other kids how to play. I was teaching coaches how to coach the basics of the game. But all the coaches did. But all Mario, we must spiel hockey. But when can you slime them? When can you hit them? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Hockey, there is no scrum. What is going on here, Oh Mario? I don't understand this game. You're trying to teach a dynamic sport to... Who's yeah, yeah, yeah. 110 kilograms mm-hmm. and Johan that's almost three meters tall and yeah. they the the first team of rugby alas no dispan mana and yeah, yeah, here's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. a hockey stick. Yeah. Here's a hockey stock. <laughs> Try hope. Like, I don't know, guys. What yeah. what are we doing? What are we yeah. doing? Yeah, for sure. That, well, I mean, hey, yeah. I hope you got paid, but fuck, whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, that, why else would I go there? I yeah, mean, yeah, of course, for sure. get paid up front. <laughs> I want the payment again. Yeah, like, sure. pay me first, and I'll be there. Yeah, for sure. So, dude, yeah, that's what made me go to Heidelberg. No, nice, dude. Well, I mean, I hope you never have to go again. Dude, um, bro, uh, yeah, dude, I appreciate you for doing this, dude. It's been awesome, man. It was good to catch up. Um, so, when is your show, is your Instagram live still on every night, every... Yeah. Are you busy tonight? Uh, tonight I am. Yeah, no, I'm just curious. So I, can, I mean, can let people know, you know what I mean? Like, so you, you must just follow you on Instagram every, so you, every night. What time? Seven South Africa time. Okay, cool. Off for seven in the evening, every okay, night. Awesome. awesome, dude. Okay, cool. And uh, what's your Instagram handle? At Super Mario Comic. Okay, cool. That's is my it, Instagram. Is, is it S-P-A? S-U-P-A? S-U-P-A. Mario, as in Mario Brothers, and comic. Perfect. Super dude. Mario. Okay, awesome. Yeah, dude. Well, whenever you, whenever you, you need someone, either like not tonight, but another night, let me know. And I'm, I'm happy to jump on. I had a lack of chat last time, dude. I think it's what you're doing. We'll see you in the week then, definitely. Sounds okay. good, brother. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you for this, bro. I appreciate this. Um, no, man, of course. It's always nice. Um, and catch it's nice up. To, it's nice. I, I was I was chatting to Rui yesterday, another comedian, and I'm just like, it's just nice to have another conversation with a comic. Do you know what I mean? Because like, yeah. it's like, oh my god, I've missed you guys. You know what I mean? Because like, even though you're in Cape Town or whatever, but like, yeah. you know, it's nice I'm to just talk. It's, it's like, yeah, oh. the, the, exactly the dynamic. Because it's like, okay, one, getting on stage and like doing the comedy is one thing, but actually just like seeing and like having a chat at the table, meeting new people. That's like a, this whole yes. social thing. That's what's driving me nuts. Yes. And then now I'm just like, okay, yes. fuck, at least I can have another conversation with a comedian. Definitely. Rack a bud.
stress. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks, I man. appreciate it. No problem, dude. I'll send you links and I'll let you know when it's up, bud. No stress. Thanks, Andrew. Have a Thanks, good day, man. brother. And yourself, man. Cheers. Cheers, bye.